Water has a pulse, a time when it's plentiful, and a time when it's absent. In the Sahel, this pulse is erratic. In the past half century, due to climate change and poor land management, the desert has swallowed vast amounts of the Sahel causing some of the worst famines in recent memory. The village of Gorga was all but destroyed by the desert. Until one man took a stand. Yakuba Sawadogo has no formal science education. Yet what he has managed to achieve stunned the world. He stopped the desert. Nearly 40 years ago, after a bad famine, Yakuba started farming in the height of the dry season when nothing grows. Because he was ignoring common sense, everyone, including the local chief, thought Yakuba was insane. People criticized you before, saying what you were doing wasn't good and that it was against the rules. They said it was madness, that you were going crazy. They said that I was damaging tradition. These words didn't hurt me. The head of my own family said the same thing and everybody laughed. I kept my mouth shut. The young Yakuba realized that before the rains came, he had to be ready to capture as much water in the soil as possible. Chopping through the concrete-like earth, Yakuba dug wide holes and filled them up with dung and litter. In fact, he was recruiting an unusual ally. The dung attracted termites who started using Yakuba's pits to grow the fungus that is their staple diet. And in doing so, they dug a network of tiny tunnels in the soil, which served Yakuba's aims. When the rains come, the tunnels in the termite nest retain the water, stopping it from running off. The water runs into the tunnels and stays there, and the soil is greatly improved. When the rains finally came, Yakuba fought for every drop of water. He built low walls to slow the runoff of rain from his fields. And instead of just planting crops, Yakuba also planted trees. Locals remained hostile, calling Yakuba the village idiot. But Yakuba persevered and gradually, his alliance with wild plants and animals paid off. Over four decades, the trees he planted encouraged birds that brought with them seeds for even more trees. Yakuba's desert started looking more like a forest. This is my very first tree. I planted it here 38 years ago. It's impossible to fully appreciate its importance. Trees pump life into the world. Yakuba's forest transforms the microclimate. It blocks wind and provides shade. And crucially, it raises the water table holding life-giving water in the soil. Nearby, Yakuba's crops are also flourishing. And he's no longer the village idiot.
Yakuba is the local hero. During harvest time, the whole village joins him to gather millet. They grow enough food to feed everyone. Yakuba's ideas have been so successful, his methods are now taught across the Sahel, and his ideas are credited with helping Niger through a recent famine. With help from the smallest creatures, a single farmer can harness the natural pulse of water. Since the dawn of civilization, this ability to manipulate fresh water has been a key to our success as a species. <laughs> 